Okay, guys, this video about um, how to crochet. For somebody who never crochet in life and never thought that someone will crochet, no, well, and now you got this idea, or you have too much time on your hands, or you need therapy, simple, because it's a perfect therapy, knitting, sewing, crochet, it's a very good therapy, and have best side effects of all, because you have something to wear, you have something to present, you have something to put to put on your bed, it's all good stuff, no, well, and before we begin, I have to tell you what, uh, uh, um, if you pull out very di different videos from uh, from online about um, the simplest way to crochet, how to start, and the tutorials how to do crochet, it will be different. It will be different because uh, depend who are those people who show it to you. Are they crochet only or are they knitters and crochet like I am? It's a totally di different ball game. Because, you know, when we do knitting, it's a one movement and one memories, muscle memories in our hands. When we do crochet, it's a totally different movement and different memory, muscle memory in my hands. And usually, usually, just ask around. People who do knitting, they do not do crochet. In people and opposite people who do crochet, they do not do knitting for that particular reason. No, well, because I'm the one of those few who does both. No, well, but I do prefer. I already told you if you my subscriber in my previous videos about knitting, I already have a bunch of videos about knitting. And in the end of this one, I am putting a very, uh, very beginning, very beginning, uh, how to g g start and do some projects right away how to save your time and how to make beautiful designer pieces just by starting knitting, okay? And why I prefer knitting? Because uh, my carpal tunnels, you know, knitting provides for me more exercises. Crochet actually hook, this 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 kind of, you have to hurt certain way and hurt it study, and after hours of doing it, or even half hour, you feel it, you know? With knitting, my both hands is working. No, well, both, I exercise both hands. And plus, the way what you hold hook, it's it's more strength on your carpal tunnels on your hands as knitting. No, well, that's why I am placing above my token. And in the end of this video, if uh, if you one of those who have elderly uh, aging hands or just uh, labored hands, tired hands, middle aged hands, which is already did a lot in life, uh, no, well, you better you start from knitting, knitting, not from crocheting. No, well, that is my personal opinion, and uh, because again, I'm the one who do both knittings and um, and. Uh, crocheting you probably will find my tutorial a little bit different from others because i do more shortcuts i do more shortcuts because i'm so impatient with knitting it's much more easy and much more faster to start and go as with hook on my opinion again that's why um, kind of i'm getting impatient with hook and i'm i'm doing my own shortcuts what you call it hacks crochet hacks or whatever it is tips no well that's going to be plenty of it as well no well let's begin okay let's begin that's what you expect and we're gonna not worry about any kind of troubles like make ends is even and all that we not even will discuss it in this video we will just start it and start from not again crocheting that no well first of all i already have video about how to choose yarn for your crochet and how to choose your hooks i'm placing that right above my token that's a click on that um, top corner uh, uh, line and it will take you right to that video how to choose your crochet uh, right yarn and crochet hook what's good for beginners what good for people who know what they do and uh, <clears throat> Well, but for, for beginning, I start, I always suggest uh, knitting or crochet doesn't matter. Start from uh, something inexpensive because you don't know you when you're going to finish that project or not, which is acrylic will be most inexpensive. And thick one, thick, thick yarn and thick hook. And simple rule, simple rule to, to for you to begin if you don't even want to click on my video, which is guide you on, on choosing yarn, yarn and, and, and hooks. Your, your hook should be at least two, three times thicker as your yarn. That's easy to remember, right? Now, now handle your hook down. And by the way, which hooks? Uh, I'm not even gonna go that. Just watch that video. Well, anyway, this is it. Uh, uh, hold. This is your short end. This is the end going to your skein or to your roll. I do prefer rolls because I can tro tro drop in my wooden ball and it's easy for me to pull out of that ball, that yarn. And uh, well, what I gonna do? I gonna have this short one right here. I have very orange one to make sure you see what I'm doing. This is my short one. I condle right here and this 
my finger, my pointed finger down right here. See, I'm holding like that. Now turn that finger towards you, like you point to you, and then you're going up. This is how you begin once again. That's how you're going to turn up. See that, 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 that yarn got a little bit across. And then you're going to go in this loop, which is you just created, and pull this short one. And what you got? You got tiny little loop right here, yeah? Make it smaller. Hold it like that. Stuck your hook in it, okay? Make it even more smaller. And again, maybe I'm not holding this, this yarn just like everybody else, because I'm a knitter as well. I'm doing the same, practically about the same way, like I start knitting. But trust me, this is a, this is a, uh, like, most short cut you can create it. And now this is what, uh, now we have to start uh, making our chain. Because we have to start from something in the air, practically, start our crochet project. No, well, this is our beginning. That's how you make it. And let me repeat again. I really intend to do it for, for super beginners. Look, cannot, people who never taught, they will crochet. And very impatient ones. Now, while this is your start, you start your finger like that down, okay? You point to you and then going up like that, create this little loop there. Move it right here inside. Move it out. You got your loop tied up on this finger, but not too much, yeah? Not too much. Start, start, start your hook somewhere there. Now, keep this short one on this side. On this side okay now when you starting you have to put a little bit of time and effort when you start already going it's gonna be much more easy to do it no well first just run your hook right there okay another inside that loop okay and see what I'm doing it's a free lane just like for knitting it's laying free my that yarn going to the to the skein or ball okay and uh, and uh, then what you do, this is my, uh, that first loop practically I make it. I make my first loop, beginning of chain. Now what I do, I'm going to slide this one in, okay, going out, okay. Keep it, keep this one here and hold it with your fingers like that. And then going in, out. See what I try to do as knitter? I try to make my hands work just like in knitting for my because um, uh, regular crocheter will not do that they will just have study left hand and they we're gonna move with that or do some some tricky things going over fingers here and there with thread i don't do that no well this is m like for me it's like ch easiest one of all because you can see so easy you can see where to go you can see how to pull up right here you can see like that right and this is a flat part of hook right here and that's why I'm holding. Okay, that's exactly my holding part. It's very easy. And some people showing to you, obviously they they think they they, they want to let you think what they are good crocheters, but they not. They run all kind of tutorials there. And how I know that? Because they twisted hook. They turn here and out here. You don't do that in crochet. You do it. You do it hook up like that, or you hook down, or hook hook half the way. For this particular chain making, I'm going. I'm going like I prefer like hook, hook like sideways like that that's how i prefer you don't just twist wrong this and way it's people who speedy crochet will never do that and uh, well because it's just too much trouble here and you have to have special hook with round hold here you know it's just too much trouble and this is a light very good uh, hold uh, hold point right here this is the best hook for beginners well let's see no well let's continue okay depend how wide is your project is okay Let's just continue and let me show to you even more close what I'm doing here. See my hook like that, uh, kind of parallel to my hand. I am putting this under my yarn, which is on my finger. Let me go down. Under my yarn, which is on my finger. And then I'm pulling right through. It's that easy. Okay. Make it loose. Don't tie. Make sure it's moving very, very easy here. And let's do again. This is how you hold your you hold your finger on this on, on this ready loop, okay? You're going in, okay? See how it's going? Like practically laying by side on my finger. You're going in like that. Pull down already. You hook already hooked up on it. And all what you need to do, just let go and slide right in this loop. Is that easy? Pull up a little bit. Don't make sure your chain is not tight. Hold it again. Go under. Now it's time to let it go and pull it again. As you're moving, move your, your chain down there, what you can hold right here in the beginning. 
because in this case it's going to be easy to hook up and that's how you go in that's exactly how you go in you you go lay lay your hook like that on on, on your finger go under pull it down pull through and pull a little bit more out what the chain will be not to not to not to tie okay now uh, how how long to go this way okay that's kind of will be that's will be already uh, up to your project you know if you have that uh, scarf okay obviously you will have a little bit more of uh, of um, troubles to go through that you know such as a um, you're gonna have longer chain you have to have a longer chain and uh, if you have a um, okay let's just not talk about um, counting you don't count now you're just making that you don't count it's our very first video we just started her crochet you and me no well don't count nothing just simply go and randomly if you making a phone case like i'm doing right here I'm making phone case. No, well, kind of estimate your phone, but you you will need to stitch it. Like, I will leave half inch here for stitching because I want the seam go inside after I stitch it, and I want that to be cushion for my phone. That's half inch seam. That's why I need to, to, to do, like, a, this is a width, width of my phone, and then half inch more and half inch more. It means when you crochet, crochet in your chain, that's what you're going to do. You're gonna have. Uh, let me just stop right now. Uh, half inch here, half inch here, and as you can see, a little bit longer here uh, on this side as a half inch. What I'm gonna do about it? Uh, enough of it? Uh, stop it? No, I will do opposite. I will create few few more, because I want to tell you now right away what your chain do not make a little bit longer, because after you're done with your project, well, I will teach you how to take off this extra loops what you don't need it, okay? No, well, now you on the last one. That's what you have right here. Okay, now now what you do? You, uh, you make sure you get one more through this last loop. No, actually, for first time, let's skip it. For first time, let's skip it. Let's stick this hook. Some crochet are sticking the second one. But if you want to go stick in the second one, a second, uh, a second loop right here, because this is your beginning of your chain. It's This is your loop right here. As close as possible, right? Right here is your loop. This is your first loop after it. And some crocheters go to second one after it. That's going to be something to think about it. And right now, I don't want you to think about it. I want you just to, to follow what you see. What you see? You see your hook. You see your, your first loop. You stuck your hook there. You pull out that thing. And this is what you got, okay? Pulled up a little bit to make sure what is this new loop what you created. As loose as first one, okay? And then you go again. Lay your hook on your fingers like I teaching you pull out go over that like that and pull this through both loops now what we learning we learning single crochet that's what you call single crochet and once again this is your second one it's easy to see you know when you pee, when we, when when we're gonna start making any kind of uh, patterns you know uh, you can see this is like a, you can pick up uh, this loop by top by bottom there just like in in knittings when you got to when you get to uh, to lay in your patterns you need to see that loop laying left or right in this case uh, towards you or opposite you right now it's not a time to talk about it this is just like whatever hole you see there you stick it there which hole you see there if you you need uh, very loose like I'm telling you I'm calling you need very loose when you beginning okay what you can see where you can stack your hook right here look at that this is your second place to stack a hook right here I probably have to start start loosen up a little bit what you can see better see right here is this next hole this hole you already been to this hole you already been to right what's next to it right here let me just pull up all of them like that what i can show to you they where they are in very close proximity see my holes there see my holes there here you've been already you're not going back to same one this is the next one to it this is next one to it you can see through it next one to it next one to it if it's hard for you to see um, uh, with that uh, because of color of thread what you chose uh, 
Well, um, I probably should choose a, a darker one, what you can see my body, my, my finger through it, through that hole. But if it's hard for you, put some lamp under. Put some lamp under when you're beginning, some night lamp, just not big one. What you can see exactly where light going through, that's where you're going with your hook. And, uh, well, this is my second hole. I stuck it right here. Again, uh, do I twist back and forward this hook? No, I don't. I just keep it like that on the side, and this finger I keep on this on 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 this looper, and I'm sticking my hook right there. Okay, what I gonna do? I gonna go and this finger gonna help me to grab it like that, pull out. I have two loops. Pull up, make it loose, make it loose. Okay, and then go again same way under and pull right through. Let me do a few times. See when I'm when I'm losing up. My next time I'm going through, I, I will see bigger, bigger holes. That's why I'm calling you. When you do first chain, it's kind of hard to do to lose. When you do go second line already, making your single crochet, well, then when you're really losing up, because it's important for you to lose crochet when for beginners, okay? And now what you do, do the same stuff. Find another hole there, which is right here. Go, go right here under under with knitting we go sometime under sometime over here you go under okay and pull through like that lose up lose up pull lose it up and then go under again and uh, pull right through that's what you're doing guys that's what you're doing and uh, keep going with that if you make mistake uh, just because acrylic is such a cheap thread, it's really easy to make mistake when you hook, especially when you hook, hook too sharp. And um, with this China hook, sometimes such a mess. No, well, pull out, pull out your chain like that, what you can see exactly. Where is that braid? Because that's where hole will be. Where is next, next, uh, next part of braid? Right there. That's where hole will be. Don't try to put in second one. Don't try to skip it. Just put in every one. That's a braid goes, right? You can see braid goes there and hole will be right in the middle of that braid okay that's how you do it now well let's get uh, to second one and pull it through again lose it up lose it up run through and that's how you crocheting guys that's how you crocheting and uh, let me make sure what i'm going going to the end i don't want to exhaust your attention Okay, uh, let me just go to the end of it, and uh, I don't even have to go to, to, to the end of it, because I just explained to you what, if if you have uh, too much left there on the chain, don't worry about it. After we're done with project, uh, we will we will get it. Uh, um, see, acrylic slide very hard, better to have like a, because you can't get discouraged by using acrylic for beginners. Yes, it's cheap, but I still suggest you to get for beginners probably half wool, half acrylic or some kind of percent of wool, because wool will slide on the hook very easy. This thing is stuck constantly. It's not easy for me to move. I hate acrylic feel in my hands and on my body, you know. But it is a durable thing, but not for long, you know, like a, if you really you know how long you're gonna wash it how many times you're gonna wash it it's gonna be very heavy if it's for blanket it's gonna be super heavy blanket it's gonna be very uncomfortable and again watch that video what i told you about choosing thread it will have you all, all answers what kind of yarn to choose not a thread i'm sorry because i do swimming as well that's why i kind of always messed up those two words thread and yarn anyway let's uh, let me get uh, let me get back because i don't want to keep my videos short now when you on the last one okay what you're gonna do Make as you have last loop right here, okay? Make one loop just as simply going like that. That's how you finish. Okay? You make one more loop right here. Now turn. Turn this piece. Forget about chain. You have extra. Don't worry about it. Now, what you're gonna do? You're gonna turn. This is a, this is your Ah, uh, you know what? Let's forget about it. See why? That's why I made uh, because it will be hard for you to uh, this way. That's why I make name my channel perfect, not perfect granny, because I want you to remember none of us is perfect, and uh, and uh, if you put goal in your life to be perfect in what you do and who you are, perfect pickup job, perfect pickup spouses, and all that, you're gonna miss this whole whole life. No, well, just set your mind what mistakes allowed, okay? allowed yourself mistakes, allowed to. Uh, 
other's mistakes. No, well, that's why it's another uh, uh, lesson of life. That's why I named the channel like that. That's how my God see me. Perfect, not perfect, granny. That's who I am. That's who every one of us are. And uh, perfect, not perfect. And, uh, well, um, just do regular, just like we did. We do one more time. Go inside that hole in your chain. Pull out. You got loosen up. Okay, you got two now. Now you make one out of two. And after that, turn. Forget about that end. Turn like that, okay? And now what you're going to do, let me go back really, really, really close again. This is the base of your loop, what you have here, okay? Keep it that way, okay? Do not stuck nothing here. Your first hole right here. Okay, what you're going to do now, make another loop out of this one. No, well, you practically raised up that one loop. You're not, uh, you're not making uh, one out of two. You just ride up, rise up the same one, okay? And now you go into this, for, because we lose the top more. You see our holes a little bit better. No, we'll see how big it is, that hole. No, we'll stack this here and do the same. Go on under, pick up, lose the top. Don't forget to lose the top. You're going to do one line is hard. The next, next line, you're already going to be start messing because you cannot find holes. Lose the top. Go same way and pull it through. And pull it through. Now, this is your second one. I really want you to learn where to see your holes. See this little knots made here? Not, not, not. Right here, if you if you need more, if you crochet more, you can see more knots, 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 after knots, okay? No, well, you kind of, your hole will be right between those knots. That's your mark where your hole is, if it's hard to find. No, well, this hole, this is two knots right here, right? This is two knots, we, we both clearly can see. This one is, uh, this one is my, um, already been in that hole, okay? Now I'm, I'm passing this knot, and that is my next hole between, uh, between next knot and ne not next to it. And I'm going in with my hook, I pull out, I lose it up, really lose it up, and make one out of two. And that's how I go in, guys. And that's how I go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, as far as you want to go. And uh, just for beginner, what possible you can start making? Like I do, pillowcase. But first of all, subscribe for uh, for channel because I'm going to teach you how to finish it, what we started. What all the sticks not be will just lesson for a heck of lesson. What you can first, first lesson, you already start making something, right? Because I'm too practical woman, just work for nothing. Yeah. No, well, that's how you do it. You just, this is this, just go, go, go. And if you go far enough, that's how you got it. You got it you to, to this big, long, long, long line. Like, let me just step back what you can see better. You you make this kind of, you going like I just told you. Back and forward, back and forward all the time. And then you, you make like long enough to roll it. With what you can make to, to, to sell for phone case. Which is, first of all, you have your last loop right here. You got your last loop. What you do? You... I didn't, I don't think I finished yet, but I done, you run this last thread and last loop tied up and you're done with your project. You're done with your project. Well, I will not do it because I don't think I finished. And then after you're done with that, what you're going to do? You're going to, no, actually, actually, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No, well, let me run it. This is your last, last loop. You finish it. You cut it through just like that. And then you cut it. You're done. Now, you get this, uh, like that because i'm making for my cell phone case and uh, that's going to be like that that's going to be my top it's going to be as cute as possible hook up to it and uh, i will to, to hook up it over his shoulder uh, it's going to be not a chain made it's going to be cord made crochet cord that's a totally different ball game i will make another video for it and we will be another video how to finish this uh, making uh, making uh, making a phone case no well here you are you know how to crochet now you have no excuses now okay let's get to your best therapy okay guys and uh, 
Well, thank you for your watching. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe if you don't subscribe yet because more is 200. I, I don't even have time to count my videos. I know it's more is 250 of them and more is 50 playlists. No, well, click on that name below my video. Perfect, not perfect. Uh, granny, and it will take you to channel page. Uh, scroll on the playlist because it's going to be hard for you to scroll through, through, through videos because it's so many of them. But your playlist will give you an idea of what channel about. And if it interests you, please subscribe. And thank you for your time. Thank you, guys. Much more coming.